Hi, I'm Dara Lamontre. We're here in the beautiful city of Los Angeles talking with writer, director, and producer Ash Baron Cohen about his upcoming projects, one of which stars Lenny Kravitz, as well as what inspires him as a filmmaker and artist. Hi, Ash, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Dara. <laughs> so, um, tell me about your latest film starring Lenny Kravitz. Well, it's a film that we uh, aim to shoot this year, and it's a uh, sort of a basic instinct uh, type movie. And it's uh, Lenny Kravitz in his first uh, leading role, uh, playing a literary professor at a, uh, at a college and um, where a bunch of mysterious murders take place. But really it's about a, a man's quest for his passion for art. And how did it come into play that you were going to direct a Lenny? Well, Lenny had seen uh, my last film, This Girl's Life, and uh, I think he'd responded to the fact that I had used an unknown girl in the lead role for that, and she was playing opposite uh, Jimmy Woods, the powerhouse Jimmy Woods, and... Or James Woods, as we all know him. <laughs> or James Woods, or Jimbo Woods, or, or Jumbo Woods, <laughs> as he's known with a huge number of female hands that he has. <laughs> But uh, uh, he, she, he'd seen that uh, performance, and I think he uh, responded to it and realized that uh, he was someone who was working with a relative newcomer. And the girl did really well. Juliet Marquis did really well in that film and matched uh, Jim Jimbo Jumbo uh, sort of toe to toe. I'm starting rumors now. <laughs> stride for stride. And. Uh, so I think he, uh, we, we met, and there was a good sort of creative synergy there, and mm -hmm. I think he trusts me as a, as a director. So tell me about uh, Radioactive. That's that is a script you did, right? Yep. That, uh, yeah, that was a script uh, that uh, I, I really wanted to make a gangster movie, um, and this one's uh, told from a, a female gangster uh, standpoint. So. I suppose deep down we all have a few more gangster kicking and <laughs> screaming, dying to get out, and uh, I know I do. I do. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is a movie set in contemporary Los Angeles, where there's you know a, a large history of uh, gang-related uh, cultures, and a city of hundred different cultures, and most of the cultures here have gangs, ranging from uh, well, you only have to go back into the history here and even the Native American tribes, the Indian tribes, were gangs of sorts. Mm. And then the different cultures that have come in have all uh, had their own gangs before they've got legitimized. And this is about the latest gang that's here in, uh, here in LA, which is, I guess, the Russian gang, the Russian Mafia. But it's uh, yeah, set here in contemporary LA. Wonderful. Now, who, uh, what filmmakers inspire your work? Who do you like? Who do you watch? Uh, I've always, uh, I mean, I've always been inspired by uh, Kubrick. Um, you know, he seemed to be able to get that that uh, delicate hybrid, that delicate marriage between making movies that were definitely artistic and you know, will be remembered for centuries to come. But they still had were money making movies. They were still managed to reach large audiences. So, what are your goals? To be making uh, movies uh, when I'm uh, still in my wheelchair and having a <laughs> catheter, and uh, you'll be able to pull out the catheter and just go action, <laughs> and that will signal that I'll be able to use the toilet, and then uh, you know, but keep keep making movies and uh, making movies that uh, hopefully will be enjoyed. Uh, do you dream in color or black and white? Well, it's funny because um, I'm actually legally blind without my uh, contact lenses on. Really? Uh, and some people say that's, that's very obvious from watching my movies, that, um, that uh, there's a strange visual sense. But hmm. yeah, so, uh, and it's funny because when I do dream, I think I have 20-20 vision in my dream. I don't have these sort of blurry mm -hmm. images where I can't make people out, right. which would be really just terrible if you actually took your short side, your myopia, into your dream state. You just couldn't really, you were dreaming, you're like, what the hell is that? Oh my God, it's a pink elephant. No, it's actually, yeah, you think it's a pink elephant, but it's actually your mother or something, you know, so it's, that could be really awful. God knows what you would do if you didn't know, right? Yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, having sex with a pink elephant would take on a whole different connotations if it was, in fact, 
a family relative. So you've worked with a couple of up-and-comers that are, have now become um, pretty famous actors in their own right, um, Misha Barton and Wentworth Miller. Can you tell me, um, would you like to work with them again? I know Misha, it was on, on Pups which was a fantastic film, uh, and then Wentworth Miller, it was Confession, the short film, and he went on to do Prison Break. Right. So um, what are your feelings about working with actor skin? Yeah, no, I mean, I think uh, once you've worked with an actor, you just, you, you've, you know, my background's in experimental psych psychology, so you sort of break mm -hmm. down a lot of barriers, mm -hmm. uh, trying to get them to get to different places and pushing them to different places that they don't necessarily want to go, and, um, so, but after you've done that, you do sort of feel like family. You feel like you've had, mm. uh, you know, you've had a couple of those big blowout arguments. I don't know, but you've, you've just been so creative together that you, there's a kinship there, and so yeah, you there's a familiarity I think as well. So you, at least I do anyway. I I, I would definitely like to work with uh, both those actors again. I think um, Misha is really sort of underrated. Uh, um, after the you know the huge sort of success of the OC, it's hard to uh, imagine her being a sort of a real cutting edge actress. But you only have to look at some of her work. She's a really interesting uh, actor who I don't think has given her sort of uh, her just desserts. And then um, Wentworth Miller is uh, I think just sort of a fierce uh, intelligence. You know that, mm. that sort of comes across in his acting. And we did that. Uh, you know, we did that film, uh, you know, set in a, a female prison, and yeah, it was. It was I mean, it just—it's also such a great thing when you see someone who's, you know, not happy with the industry because of the, the fact the industry relies on names to to drive things forward or drive projects or get uh, projects greenlit, and then you see him explode and sort of go on the covers of all these different uh, TV guides and billboards and so forth, and uh, it's a great thing. For the latest in breaking entertainment news, I'm Dara Lamontre. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time on the red carpet.